Hello and welcome to another lesson from the IELTS coach. Today we are looking at another example of a problem solution essay. So IELTS writing task two, it could be for general training or academic, but this is a problem solution style of question and we will go through paragraph by paragraph like I have with the previous videos. If you haven't seen those, I do have other essays that I give examples for. I think it's uh, opinion essay and discussion essay so far. So let's get straight into this and we will look paragraph by paragraph what I write and I will tell you why I write that. So here we can see the topic or the question for today. Many doctors say that people in today's society do not do enough physical exercise. What problems are caused by lack of exercise? What solutions are there to encourage people to exercise more? So very clearly problems of exercise or lack of exercise and solutions to encourage people. Okay, not solutions to those problems, but solutions. How can we encourage people? Got to be careful and read the question very carefully. So as we do with all essays, paragraph one and sentence one will be paraphrase the topic. Not every word of the question, but what is the main topic? Say that in a different way. The second question of paragraph one, what are you going to write about? So are you going to write an opinion essay or a discussion? Or are you going to describe problems and solutions? So if we look at paragraph one, we can see the paraphrase. An increasing number of medical professionals believe that people in modern society do not participate in physical exercise enough. So notice how I've changed things around there. Doctors, medical professionals. Today's world, modern society. Enough physical exercise, physical exercise enough. I was able to change that around. So it's okay to use some of the words, but try and change some of the grammar as well if you can. Keeping the main idea and the main topic the same. Then I say, this essay will analyze some problems created by not exercising enough, so the problems, and suggest how to motivate society to do more exercise. That's what the essay is going to be about. So don't say, they're not asking for an opinion here, so don't say that. And that expression, this essay will, support my opinion. This essay will discuss the two ideas. This essay will, some sites and some teachers think you shouldn't use that expression. It's no problem using it. That expression clearly shows the thesis statement of your essay. It's okay to do it. I wouldn't use that expression for an opinion essay. I'd use opinion language directly, but for other types of essays, I think it's a good way to start not something to worry about. Oh, how can I start the second sentence? Start it like that. This essay will discuss, provide problems. You know, what will it do? Show what the essay will do. So that's our introduction. Two sentences. They're long enough. Move on to body paragraph. And for problem solution essays, I think this is easy. Problem solution. Paragraph two, paragraph three. Yes, it is possible to put a problem and a solution in one paragraph, problem and solution in another paragraph. That's possible, you can do that, you will see lots of examples with that. I think it's much easier to always do the same thing and it's much easier to focus on one thing in the paragraph. The same if you're discussing two ideas. You're not gonna mix those two ideas together, keep them separate. Problems and solutions are two different things, keep them separate my advice and that's the structure i'm going to use so straight into what that first problem is the first issue with not doing exercise is that people become sedentary it leads to health issues i also include some examples in there of the health issues so that's a topic sentence with examples obesity arthritis lack of flexibility so that shows what the first problem is focusing on. I do need to give more information and I do that in the second sentence. Notice I also include the topic in there. Don't just say the first issue is people become, 
the first issue with what? With exercise, with encouraging people, say the topic again. It's a topic sentence. Say the topic. Then I explain. This means that the longer people are sedentary, then the harder it is for them to become active and do exercise. Okay, so being sedentary, not moving around, makes it harder to do it. That's a big problem. Similarly, this is my second problem, not exercising and moving as a habit can cause mild depression. So my second problem is depression or sadness. These health issues created by not doing enough exercise can result in a shorter lifespan and lower quality of life. The result. So I've got a topic sentence, which does include examples. I've got explanations and more details. I've got a result at the end there. A variety of information. You don't want to do problem, 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 problem. Five problems, five sentences, no examples, no reasons, no explanations, no results. You want a variety. This is not a competition. How many problems can you say? They, you want to explain your problems, explain your ideas. Next paragraph, we move on to solutions. The first solution, one way that people can be encouraged to do more exercise is through education, especially at primary school and high school. That leads on. My next sentence has to explain. What do you mean by education at school? So I will explain that. This means that when people are young and developing habits, the good habit of regular exercise and being healthy should be taught through school sports and physical education classes. Now, another solution. In addition, good health and the benefits of physical exercise can be promoted in communities and even through advertising campaigns. What do you mean by that? Okay, that sentence enough is not enough. The person will show me what you mean, explain that. Neighborhood sports groups are a great way to get exercise, be active and also be social to fight off depression, the problem we mentioned before, and as an alternative to sitting alone and being sedentary in front of the TV. Notice how the solutions connect to the problems. Don't have to directly connect them, but they should be there. There should be a connection. You don't want to give a solution to a problem you haven't mentioned. Okay, so our two problems that we had of health problems and depression or loneliness and our solution of being healthier and doing sports and meeting more people and avoiding depression. So they tie together. Conclusion is going to be a summary. My advice is summarize the problems in one sentence, summarize the solutions in the other sentence. It's the easy way to do it. It's possible to put them all together and even have one sentence, but I do recommend two for clarity and for word count. So in conclusion, health problems, including weight gain and joint pain, along with feeling sad, are some of the problems caused by lack of exercise. That's our topic, problems caused by lack of exercise. So our topic is in there, it's very clear. Doing sports and learning about good health habits in schools and as social activities, that's our solutions, are possible ways to overcome the issue of people not doing enough exercise. Our topic again, not exercising enough. That's what we're focusing on, the problems and solutions of that. Don't be afraid to mention the topic throughout the essay, especially introduction and conclusion, especially in topic sentences. So notice that, notice that I don't say this, one way to overcome this or that or it. What is it? Paraphrase it, say it in a different way. Okay, use that topic and do it. So look at how I've done that. Look at my other examples to see, you will see a lot of similarity. You don't have to change all your essays dramatically use similar structures so you're not spending time thinking about what structure to use. You will notice all my introductions and conclusions are two sentences each. All my essays are four paragraphs and the structure is the same. Always a topic sentence. I always include an example sentence or a result sentence in the body paragraphs. I need to make that happen. I can't just say five problems, five solutions. 
There's no detail. There's no variety. So look at that structure. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but look at what you like and what you can do easily. Use that doing your own examples. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments and questions or you're not sure about some of the things in this example, please write below this video. Like the video and share it with your friends. The more people see it, the more people that I can help. And also subscribe to the channel so you get notified as soon as I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.